Uh, very nice, my little boy. What's up, guys? I'm bringing you a uh, um, head to head game I played uh, about two days ago. It was a it was a downhill wire game. It was an amazing game, actually. So I'm gonna give you guys that. But the comp but the gameplay is really not what I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, previously, over a couple months, I've had the the question this question asked me a lot. But why did I quit Call of Duty and go to Madden? So I figured I'd give you guys a valid answer, and I, I haven't really told nobody, I haven't really talked about it too much, because um, most of you may know I did play Call of Duty competitively, and I, um, I do not longer, no longer play the game competitively, nor do I either even own Ghost, I have, or have even watched one uh, split second of the gameplay. So I'm getting here started with that. All, um, it all pretty much started in February when I was doing the COD, uh, I was trying to grind for COD XP, most of you don't know who Card XP was. It was a it was a 250 and a, I think it was two million dollar tournament or something like that. Um, with eight teams, with eight prize pool, eighth place I believe you got 25k. I'm 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 not 100 percent sure. Something like that. I kind of forget. Yeah, but uh, but Card XP was giving you one way to qualify, and the top uh, eight teams from league play would go. It would be a 32 team uh, a 32 team um tournament, which was eight people from Europe, eight other people from eight other teams from somewhere else in the in, uh, globe then eight eight pro teams uh, eight actual pro teams and then eight teams qualifying through league play so I was going to qualify through league play and it was a time I was ranked 10th now believe me um if you had this opportunity wouldn't you not try to grind there were thousands of, of teams playing for this spot I mean you literally had to wake up and play and and pretty much go to sleep playing like there was no breaks or anything like that um now, like I was saying, I was grinding for this, and uh, but unfortunately, the players on my team didn't get along at all, and there was a lot of raging going on, going along, a lot of complaining, a lot of arguing, and it pretty much bickered me. It was to the point I was playing Call of Duty so much that my thumb, that my left thumb, the one that you uh, usually would use to, um, I believe, to aim and stuff. Uh, I will ha I be only able to play for like a certain amount of time because my thumb will actually start to hurt, and and that's actually a disease that you could get. Uh, I no longer get that pain anymore, thank uh, thank God. But uh, that's how much Call of Duty I was playing. If you could uh, picture that in your head, I was playing hours of Call of Duty. I was at least playing uh, ten hours of Call of Duty per day just to be able to stay in the in the hunt for this um, for the top eight. Uh, now we when we decided to stop playing because they could just. The one member just decided he wasn't going to play no more, and because he couldn't take it no more, I, I was I was pretty much like the peacemaker. I was trying to keep everybody on, on attack. Now, most of you know, if you ever play Call of Duty with me, I cannot play with Ragers, um, so that really didn't work too well. But they were the only people who were available to me at that time who were 18, so they were my only option, and uh, things just didn't work out. We like it was like I said I w I literally woke up to turn on the game play uh, Call of Duty until like f like four o'clock in the morning and did that over over like a week span just to give up and we were so close like we were so close I mean even if we wouldn't have won anything it would have been a, a hell of a uh, time just to be able to go to Los to Los uh, Angeles California for free not uh, like I said um, for it was called the XP so they were flying out there for free just being able to go there for free. It would have been an honor to me. I mean, obviously, I would have liked to win something. I would have just used the money for my college funds. But even just going there for free, uh, that would have been pretty exciting to me. So that um, really hurt my desire to even play card anymore after putting so much time and effort into something in a short amount of span. So that uh, kind of also rushed me uh, with playing the game. Now, you know, card is a, is a yearly cycle. If you play the game for a year and then you do the exact same thing next year. But it was kind of different for me this year. Um, I have to admit that this card was fun until uh, until uh, that, until around February. That's when I just didn't even, like. I, that's when I, I sort of lost my motivation. Just slowly went downhill because I just had no desire to play no more. Now I started playing Call of Duty in MW2, and I never had the dream or never thought that I was going to play pro. I was just playing just to play the game, and I just wanted to play with friends. And I uh, eventually picked up competitive gaming. Most of you don't know what competitive gaming is. It's where you. It's a four v four um, battle scene. It's it's you and you th and you and three of your teammates versus another team, uh, and you just pretty much battle through uh, st strategic modes and Black Ops Two. It was um, Hardpoint, CTF, and Search and Destroy. Those are the standard game modes. Um, that you're not allowed to use no rocket launchers. We have very strategic rules. This makes for the competition at the highest level, and, 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 and for the most part, it's not very easy. Do you play against? Like it's just like playing. Um, 
I guess, I guess you could say playing man, like playing coin games. They, they mostly play coin games versus the best people who, who have man. So that's what I guess uh, playing Call of Duty competitive is like. Uh, GB, which most you know is game battles, it is kind of good competition. But if you team scrim in private lobbies versus the kids on Twitter, the kids who actually show up to the LAN events and MLG events, that thrill of competition is at a, a complete significant level than others. Have I thought about playing Ghost again? Uh, I, to be honest, no. But um, but I do miss the storyline because in every Call of Duty I've competed a campaign mode, so I might actually get the game and I might GB with some of my friends uh, that I know, maybe some of my new Madden friends I met who also play Call of Duty. I might go back to my old uh, like Call of Duty people and just do a casual GBs. Nothing serious. I do not expect to scrim the game for numerous hours a day. Um, uh, towards the end of Black Ops 2, it was really bad. I didn't even not want to. I didn't want to play the game at all. Like like. To get me on that game, it was a struggle because I did not want to get, I did not want to wake up to play that game, knowing that that I had to scrim and everything like that. But I do say that um, for me, being uh, playing Call of Duty, the only thing I was really able to get out of it was meeting meeting awesome people, meeting awesome business organizations. Uh, uh, I've got my team sponsored. Most you know, I was sponsored by Avery Media, and that's what I'm currently recording this video with. My every media live game portable, so I think that for that, it's just uh, I really did not want to leave the Call of Duty scene. I felt like after getting all those sponsors, I was just, was just leaving. But it was just Call of Duty wasn't fun to me no more. I play games to have fun. When I first started playing video games, like ever, like the games I used to play was Mario, um, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. I was never too much into uh, into Sonic. I used to play games like that, and more, even Mortal Kombat and wrestling. So that's pretty much why I want to get Madden again because I, I haven't had Madden since 10 Which is the one which uh, Troy Palmolo and Larry Fitzgerald was on the cover. That was the last Madden I purchased That was also last Madden I actually took seriously So th so this year I figure um, since I knew I wasn't I didn't have no plan on getting Call of Duty Madden was the first game on the top of my list um, I didn't even pre-order Call of Duty like I said I don't I currently do not have it So the next so I knew I was going to get Madden uh, Now playing Madden um, I just thought I was just going to play community, like I found out you could do team play with three videos. I thought that was pretty cool, I was just going to play regular games. But then I, I got introduced to Madden Ultimate Team by a friend and I started, got, I kind of grew up upon an addiction. Uh, the thrill of being the best, having the best team, it, it, it brings me life. It, it actually excites me to keep on playing, that's why I've granted this game. Uh, I've been playing and I actually have a fun, I actually have fun playing Madden. Most people say, how do you play Madden? For all these hours per day and like I said I actually have fun playing the game a lot so um so that's one of the reasons why I got mad and I also I also will be getting other games besides Call of Duty uh most of you know I was I am a very big Dragon Ball Z fan you may some of you may say I don't you a little too old to be playing Dragon Ball Z but Dragon Ball Z was one of the uh classics that's coming up as a kid along with Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and I still know grown men who play Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's all it is a video game. It's here to entertain you. So like I said, uh, uh, there's a new Dragon Ball Z game coming out in January, which I will be getting. The demo comes out later on this month, which I will be streaming and having on my channel also. So uh, if you were subscribed to me for Call of Duty, uh, I, I thank you for your subscriber and for, for subscribing to me. I also thank you for helping me uh, build a, a decent subscriber base. I do not call any of my subscribers fans. I just don't, I don't really like that term that term of word. I call them friends or just subscribers. But uh, from here on out, I, I doubt that you will see any more Madden gameplay. Uh, I mean, any more Call of Duty gameplay on my channel. I just kind of hope that you understand that for me, gaming is supposed to be fun. And I just wasn't having any fun with Call of Duty anymore. So I picked up on Madden, which, like I said, I started off um, in my gaming career playing Madden. And hopefully they make a new Mortal Kombat. If they do, I will also be getting that as well. Those were the days where growing up a kid, I was never ever bored, and I was just and I could just play the game for hours. Like, I, like man, I could play the game for hours. I just love, I love competing. I just have that that natural, um, competent side of me, which just allows me to compete. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is coming down to the wire. You see, the fourth quarter, I'm losing by four points, and uh, he's driving on me. Once again, this, like I said, this was a head-to-head -head game. I believe this is in. Uh, I think it's all man first string. Uh, that's where we end. He tries to dive, and here all he needs is ten yards, and I make him pay for this. Since he wanted to be a smart, a smart, you know what? I make him pay, and I play really good defense. And the, pretty much the rest of the game, self-explanatory. 
I don't want to really give it up too much away. Most of you can probably tell I may sound a little sick. Uh, I have to get surgery once again. If you know me personally, you know earlier this year I got my tonsils removed because I was always getting sick a lot. Always getting sick a lot. Now, um, doctor wants me to have my wisdom teeth removed because he says I won't have enough room for them. So, unfortunately, I will be getting my wisdom teeth removed. Uh, most people say that that pain is, is a lot worse than getting your tonsils removed, which I'm really not looking forward to. Because getting my tonsils removed was one of the worst things I've ever had to do in my life. And you see, he kicks a field goal. So right now, he's kicking the ball to me. P.S. Dude never, never kicked the ball to me. I'm very good at returning. Plus, very, returning is very easy. And you see, I get to the outside. Percy Harvard. That's, that's Percy Harvard. That's a Florida Gator right there. And who's going to catch him? Offset houses. Now, what I could have did wrong in this situation is I probably could have dove like he did and been a faggot. Just to make him waste some of them timeouts. But unfortunately, I don't. I really, I really wasn't thinking too much, so I go ahead and score. I leave him uh, about 40 seconds left to score. And he, do, he, do, he first two plays really does nothing. His last play does a corner route when I was not playing the sounds at all. I was wasn't expecting him to do that. Very smart play. He gets a field goal range and pretty much kicks a field goal, and I lose by seven. It was a great game. Hats off to my opponent. And this is the video. And hey, it's good fucking Daryl. I love you all.